month I will be technically I will be full, full term I'll be 37 so that's kind of crazy I really hope she comes early I really do think that she's gonna come out like 38 weeks so like the first week in July but who knows I just feel I think so what do you think mm -hmm. you tend towards you too you think 38 weeks I have no idea but I think it's gonna be early July yeah it'd be early July too like within within the first ten days of July. <laughs> so yeah, it's like thirty eight weeks. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm sorry. I'm focused. I'm trying okay. to get some. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to do some things here. It's okay. Anyways, I felt actually pretty good. Um, I mean the heat is not too bad. Like everyone is. All like, whoa, have fun in the heat. I'm like, it's not that. It hasn't been that bad. Like, I sit in an air-conditioned building, like, all day. So, <laughs> it's really not that bad. And if I stay in the shade and, like, I carry around my water bottle, like, I'm fine. So, anyways. So, yeah, the heat's not bad. Um, she, my stomach today, oh, my gosh. I texted Tucker because she's pretty active in the mornings around, like, 9 or 10. And since she's so much bigger, my stomach was just going from one side to the next and up and like it was going crazy and I tried to film it and of course she stopped and I was like, dang it. Anyway, so she's been really active today um, as far as like my kick counts because they're, excuse me, sorry, they're having me start to count her kicks like every two hours. So when you get far enough along, um, they have you start counting your her your baby's kicks so it's like they told me like if within a two hour period they need to have moved not necessarily kicked but have moved 10 a total of 10 10 times um so and it says you know usually during like the most active time so she's pretty active in the morning and then probably right before i go to bed um she's active again but she like hits 10 movements in like 10 seconds <laughs> So she's pretty good on the kick counter scale. Like she she's a good mover. Um anyway, so I've been doing that. I have my birth plan all written up, my midwife on me. To have my birth plan birth burp <laughs> My birth plan. <laughs> have my birth plan all written up and ready. I just got it off of my uh it's called the bump. Um, it's like a pregnancy place for you that's like blogs and things like that. So I just got it from there. It's really detailed. Like it, it's really, it's like four or five pages with like check marks. It's really, it's pretty detailed and I really liked it because some of the other ones I was looking at weren't quite detailed enough or didn't have the things on there that I wanted it to have. So if you're looking for a birth plan, check out the bump um, birth plan because that one's really good. Uh, so yeah, I got that done. Um, tomorrow is... Our doctor's appointment and <laughs> this hot man's birthday. <laughs> it's gonna be the big two five. This little guy. 
This big guy, excuse me. Little? You're not little. Yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. He's gonna be 25. I'm gonna be 25. It's scary. He's and so I'm old. Being so old and big. <laughs> I'm so excited. And he has no idea what we're doing. Nope. Or getting. I don't. But I have a few things in mind, but I don't know. Here's the thing. I want beanbag chairs. I want an iPhone. I want a projector. <laughs> What's the other thing? Um, we're supposed to say those. Projector screen. Projector screen. But yeah, those are the things I've just been dying. So he does so, that. So yeah. He's good. Or what we're doing. So anyways. We're going to have ice cream. And we're going to have brownies. And we're going to have pizza. Yeah. Because that's our cheap time. Anyways, yeah. so yeah, so it's his birthday and our doctor's appointment and then we're doing some fun stuff for tomorrow for his birthday, which I won't say because he doesn't even know and then as well as on Saturday. So anyways, that's exciting. But as far as symptoms have gone, here is kind of the basics. Um, my surges, my practicing surges still got them. Cool kind of tip. Um, so with my hypno birthing course, it has you practice every time you get a surge or if you don't know what that is, Braxton Hicks or contractions or whatever. Um, she has me practice, like I practice the breathing techniques that sh she has taught to apply when you have a surge. And I noticed that when I kind of fight the surge or the Braxton Hick or I just like I, I kind of tense up, it lasts so much longer than if I like close my eyes and just focus on my breathing. And what I do is I visualize, because in part of her hypno um, class, she has you visualize um, that you're in the ocean. And you know like when you're in the water, you're like, you're fighting the waves, like you're trying to stabilize your, ba your balance. Anyways. She has you kind of like relax and just go with the waves. And so I always visualize myself as I'm breathing. When I breathe up, I'm going up a wave. And when I exhale, I go down a wave or down the backside of the wave. And they go by way quicker. Like my whole body will relax, my stomach will relax, and they won't even last that long. And I'm like, wow, that just goes to show you like even when like the real time comes, how much quicker I'm going to be able to get through those. So it's really good practice that I've been doing and noticing. So that's one thing. I have been getting those, but I've been able to really just like go into instant relaxation. Even while I'm at work, like I, if I'm starting to get one, I will literally just drop everything, close my eyes, because they only last like two seconds if I, if I do it like this way. But if I'll close my eyes and just like sit there in my chair and just like visualize me going up over waves and breathing and then boom, they're done. Like it's the coolest thing ever. So anyways, so there's that. Um, I got a trailer horse in my toes last night and I did the same breathing techniques and I helped to get over it quicker. So that was nice. Um, my lower back has been definitely starting to hurt more this week. Um, just because she's getting so much bigger and so much heavier. I mean, I'm still really not that big. Like, like I get it. Like, I have so many people that come up to me that think I'm like early 30s, like 30 weeks. And I'm like, no, I'm like going to have a baby in like four to six weeks. And they're like, holy crap. Anyways, <laughs> so where was I going with that? I totally lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Anyways. So, oh yeah, back pain, that's where I was. So yeah, my back has been hurting a little bit more, just in my lower back. If I, I lean on things, which I talked about in my last video, like I found like leaning forward on, on like countertops or on my desk at work actually really helps to relieve, which I didn't think so in the beginning. Like I thought I would need to like slump back, but that actually like puts more like her pressure on my lower back, which actually makes it hurt worse. But if I lean forward, it like, like the gravity pulls it down and actually really helps to take weight off my lower back. So that has, I've noticed has really helped. Um, what else? Um, think, think, think. Um, I've been getting headaches here and there, but not like a lot. I don't know if it's, like I do tend to get headaches when I'm like really hungry, um, but I, that's kind of it. I mean, it's really been pretty chill. Like I haven't had any weird like pregnancy things or weird foods. It's so funny. Like everyone shares like 
the weirdest food combinations that they had while pregnant. And I seriously can't even think of one I have. Like, the weirdest one I have is bean and cheese burritos with mayonnaise. So I guess that's kind of weird because people don't really eat it like that. But it's not very often I have that. So that's kind of like the only weirdest one I have. But anyways, so now I'm going to tell you what my um, app says. So it says that there can be about the size of a pineapple. Uh, so I have five weeks and six days left. And it says that she can, like, they're around 19 to 22 inches. I don't, I think that's for, like, maybe, like, gene like, generically, is that the word? Anyways, because I'm still really small, and I think she's really small. Like, I, I think she's going to be tall, but not, like, a big baby, because I'm just not that big. Anyways, so it says that as, like, a general idea I guess um but as far let's see let's see so it has this like I said it has this cute little little picture of what they look like and um it says your baby closes her eyes when she snoozes and opens them when she's awake helping her settle into a sleep schedule which is kind of cool because she's already like kind of creating her sleep schedule here um let's see what else does it say? Please. Okay, so it just talks more about boys at this at this point because it says that if if you're having a boy, um, then his testicles are making the way down out of their abdomen into their scrotum. But I'm not having a boy. We're having a girl, so that's not necessary. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. She has. Okay, so. Oh, that's cool. So it says her tiny, like the fingernails have probably reached the tips of their fingers by now, which, you know, like the tips of our fingers, like our fingernails. So that's cool. So not too much for her. Um, it's kind of just like the rest of the development, gaining a little bit more weight and things like that. Oh, I don't want to go to that ad. Don't go to that ad. Dang it. Okay. But for me, um, it says that you can get blurry vision just due to hormones. I have noticed that. A little bit. I have noticed that my um, vision has been a little more blurry than it used to be, um, but not bad, not like terrible. I just noticed like it kind of blurs on like letters, like especially if I'm like reading small, like fine print, like small print. I noticed it does. Anyway, so it says blurry vision. Um, what else? Oh, it's been talking a lot about, um, like, pre, pre-labor, yeah, pre-term, pre-labor or something, and, like, what to watch for and pay attention to, because now that I'm getting close to 37 weeks, which, where I could actually go into labor, um, like, my app and my midwife is always having me kind of, like, just pay more attention to my signs, like, they don't think I'm going to go into labor early, I mean, as far as, like, before 37 weeks. But it's always something good to, like, pay attention to and watch out for. Um, so I have been, like, just kind of listening more to my body and seeing what's going on. And definitely as I get closer to 37 weeks, um, I will, you know, definitely pay attention more, I guess you could say. But anyways, so that's kind of, like, what's been going on. Um, oh, we did get her crib and car seat. Oh, my gosh, I ordered her crib today, and we're going to pick it up Tuesday. I'm so excited. <laughs> So anyways, we've got a few more things to get, but yeah, we're getting closer, really excited. I'm getting a little nervous, I'm not going to lie, but I have been really working on our Hypno Bubs course and just relaxing and visualizing and doing the affirmations that I listen to every morning, so it's going really good, and I, I must say, like, I have been really blessed with an awesome pregnancy, like, it's had its times. But, like, I feel great. Like, I, I mean, I come home and I crash. Like, I'm just tired and I just want to lay down. But I don't feel sick. Like, I'm not sick. I'm not, like, whatever. I'm just, like, I'm just tired. I'm just exhausted. I mean, it's been a long day at work. And I'm growing, like, a whole human be being that's going to be here in, like, a few weeks. <laughs> so, anyways. But, yeah, I mean, I've been really blessed and really grateful. Like, I'm kind of sad for it to end. Just because I love how I just feel her move. And this morning she was kicking and Tucker looked over at me. 
he's like, <laughs> he's like, I know when she moves because you smile. And I'm like, well, of course, like, I can't not smile when she moves. Like, it is the coolest and cutest feeling ever, just feeling her kick and roll and move inside me. And I just, I just love it. I love every bit of it. So I am going to miss that. Um, but I'm going to be so excited that she's here and I could just snuggle her in case you really love her. But <laughs> anyway, so I'm excited for that. But I think I am going to miss being pregnant a little bit just because I do love, I do love, I, I really love being pregnant. I know it probably sounds crazy because a lot of women don't, but I really have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed every second. I mean, not like the throwing up part, but I didn't do that that much and it wasn't even that bad. But yeah, so that's, and it, it's cool since like having the struggle of getting pregnant and I'm going to, I'm actually going to record a video kind of more in depth of that struggle. Um, because of, of those of you watching that don't know, I had endometriosis and so it took a little bit for us to get pregnant and I thought we were never going to get pregnant and that just like broke my heart. Cause I always wanted a baby and so but I'm grateful that I have her and that she's coming soon but yeah so watch out for that video if you're if you're struggling with like endometriosis and trying to get pregnant I have some tips and tricks that could possibly help you that helped me I mean everyone's different um, I mean I know some family members that had endometriosis and they still had to do um, infertility treatments um, actually not because of her um, but because of her husband, her, his, uh, sperm didn't have tails. They were just heads. So no, no wonder why she couldn't get pregnant anyways. <laughs> so yeah, so check out for that video. But other than that, that's kind of the basic of my symptoms. Nothing too bad. Um, oh, besides just that, I think she kicked out my ribs on my right side right here. Because like if I, it kind of aches at night or if I sit funny, if I push it, it pops. So I'm kind of wondering if she kicked out my rib right there, <laughs> which I wouldn't be surprised because that's where she mostly moves. So that'll be interesting to find out like once I deliver her and she's here, if that, if that goes away or if I can get like readjusted, can my rib pop back into place? I don't know. And that's a hurt all the time. And it's only sometimes, but anyway, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my 34 week update. I keep thinking I'm 33. Like today I was like, am I 33 or 34? And I had to check my app and I was like, oh yeah, I'm 34. Duh. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you subscribe and follow our channel and check out our Facebook, Facebook page as well. It's in the um, description link below. So check that out and we will be seeing you soon. Okay. Bye guys.